Hey, what's up you guys? Happy Friday, this is The Daily Denny, and once again, I'm throwing the rule book out the window, and I'm dedicating this episode to another awesome influencer and comedian. Please welcome to The Daily Denny, Jen McAllister. Hi. Oh my God, <laughs> Gen X Pen in the house, you guys. What's up? Thanks for coming to hang out with yeah, us. Yeah, of course. We have lots to talk about, but first, I wanna play a little game. We're gonna do, we do this with our guests, two truths and a lie. Tell uh... me two truths and a lie about yourself, but, 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 we'll reveal it at the end of this episode. Okay, right, you All got right, ready? Them? Yeah, I yeah, got them. Me. Okay, uh, my family owns an anteater at a zoo. My birthday is wrong on my birth certificate. Um, the first time I had a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, I was 18 years old. 18 years old when you had a first PB&J. All right, if you guys have any guesses, leave them in the comment section right now. We will get to them at the end, but you got my wheels turning, I'm thinking. All right. All right. We gotta talk about foursome. We do. Season three. Yes. I mean, you're so stoked, I can tell. I'm so excited. <laughs> well, this time you guys are on the island. You guys are at the beach. Mm -hmm. I'm sure and Sandy's gonna ensue. Yeah. What can you tease about this season? So yeah, this season, you know, it's the same group that we love, but we're in a new location. The gang like scores a trip to a place called Beach Island. Okay. And so it's a winter break trip that we're all going on and there's a lot of drama. There's a lot of new characters. Um, the foursome kind of has like some new rivals, okay. which is interesting. Another squad. Um, yeah, okay. unexpected friendships. Um, and you know, Andy got a boyfriend in season two. That's right. But as you can tell from the trailer, if you've seen it, there's kind of a love triangle mm -hmm. like going on there between her and the two guys. Not a bad gig for you. <laughs> Not a bad gig for me at all. <laughs> right? But you know, Andy has some decisions to make this season. That's so funny. What a what a journey though, right? Right. What an I arc. Know, I mean, right? she was like struggling to find a man, and now she's got two competing for her. So yeah. how will that all play so. out? What can you tease? <laughs> how will that play out for her? For her. Um, I mean, things work out for her, okay. and um, I think it's it's crazy. There is so much that goes on this season. I feel like seasons one and two have just like built up like the perfect storyline for this season. Yeah. I really think it's like the best season. What is a, a bigger challenge for you? Is it scripted or is it you know doing your thing on on your channel and like opening up to your fans? Yeah, yeah that's a, a great question. You know, because um, you did get drunk in front of uh, the, your community yeah. before. You know, <laughs> I have. that's kind of <laughs> very vulnerable. Yeah, very vulnerable. <laughs> you know vulnerable. I mean? Yeah. Um, you know, they're challenging for different reasons, mm -hmm. you know, because acting is definitely a challenge, but at like doing acting, that's my only job there. You know, there's everyone else does everything else. Yeah. So I don't have to worry about that. True. Whereas like YouTube, I still do everything. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, it's challenging to come up with like a new idea every yeah. single week for sure. Right. We actually pulled the community to ask to uh, submit some fan questions for you. So I'm going to okay, hit you great. with a couple now. Um, let's see. This person whose name is Niall Horan on YouTube hmm. uh, wants to know who are three people you most admire and why? Three people I most admire. Okay, off the top of my head immediately, I have to say my mom. Mm -hmm. I think my mom is like, she's made me the person that I am today for sure. Yeah. She's so inspirational to me. She's got a great sense of style. She, she just does. She, she did a great those, job. I thought she did a great job picking out your clothes. Yes. You kept some of those dresses you told me. I did. I love They're it. They're in my See? closet. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Mom. Um, my best friend Jordan from back home. Mm -hmm. Definitely, definitely. Um, just a great person, and he's just like so authentically himself. Mm -hmm. It's very inspiring to watch. Um, and then also, uh, let's do a celebrity, yes. right? Yes, um, we want E.T., right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I like Brie Larson. She's my favorite yes, actor. Yes. So, very inspirational. Oh, I love everything she does. Yeah, she's great. Uh, let's see. Leslie Lopez wants to know what inspired you to be what you are today? Wow. I deep, know, so deep. Right? Oh my God. It's going to be Oprah's next chapter right now. I know. <laughs> um, you know, I draw like lots of my inspiration just from my life, mm -hmm. you know? Um, so, I, that sounds so. <laughs> no, but <laughs> whatever. you kind of have to be, especially yeah. when you're a YouTuber, you know? Mm -hmm. You have to be your authentic self. Exactly. So, yeah, probably just my life. I mean, I've been making videos since I was eight. So, it's so kind crazy. of pulling from everything around me. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Well, that leads us to our next question from Sierra. She wants to know, what was it like growing up on YouTube as a teenager? Oh, yeah. You know? Very interesting, right? Those phases are, are online forever. They're documented. <laughs> right, yeah. Exactly. Um, I'm 21. I started when I was 13. So, it's weird. It's like a time capsule, mm -hmm. but like, a time capsule that every single person can see right, if right, they right, wanted right, to. Right. All right, it's time to do the reveal for the two truths and a lie. Okay. So let's recap. Okay. Your family owns an anteater. Your birth date is wrong on your birth certificate. And the first time you had a PB&J was 18. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say the lie is the birth certificate. Oh. 
No, that's no? true. It's wrong on your... Yeah, it's wrong. <laughs> is it still birth wrong birth on your birth certificate? It's still wrong on my birth certificate. I didn't think that was allowed. Like, I figured that would just get fixed. I know. Well, I was born on 7, 9, and I weighed 7 pounds, 11 ounces. I switched the 9 and 11. That's so funny. Mm -hmm. Okay, so wait, which one is the... Okay, I guess I get... I Do you have to guess? guess? I have to guess. Okay. Wait, one more. Your family does not own an Annie. <laughs> yeah, my family does okay. not own an Annie. I love that I thought that was true, though. No, I was like, but you it's, never know. my best friend's family owns an Annie. Okay, so that's see? where I took that from because I was like, I need to get some like a unique lie. That's right? good. And I asked her right before we started this interview, where are you from originally? I think Pennsylvania could have Annie. Totally, like, right? right? Philadelphia exactly. Zoo. <laughs> I love it. You had a PB and J when you were only eighteen years yes. old. What was that experience like for you? You know, I didn't like it. You didn't it. like it? Of mm -hmm. course not. No. I know. Okay. I, I think I was too old, right? You, you missed the boat. Like, I did it's miss just the gone. boat. I love mm -hmm. it. So you like a ham sandwich girl? Yeah, sure. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> well, thank you so much for coming to hang out with us yeah, today. You guys, for me. season three of Foursome hits YouTube Red on November 1st, so please go check it out. Go check out Gen X Pen, of course, on YouTube, and like and share this video, all right? I love you guys. We'll see you on Monday. Have a good weekend.